A couple of weeks ago, we introduced um, this concept of XERC20s, um, also known as ERC7281. Um, XERC20 is an open public uh, proposal for a standard for how people can bridge tokens between chains while retaining the kind of like core fungibility properties that people care about. So like not having ending up with multiple different tokens on the destination chain um, without having to, and also without having to spend, you know, for the token issuers to have to spend tons and tons of money on liquidity. Um, and ideally also without having to end up in a situation like what happened with multi-chain where um, as a token issuer, you are kind of locked into one one option forever and, and you you like face this really huge security risk. So let's let's jump into what that means and what like, why we're doing this for this space in general. Um, so to start with, there's this kind of weird trade-off space that exists when bridging tokens. Um, uh, you know, when you when you bridge a token from one chain to another, what what's actually going on under the hood? Well, the first and foremost thing that has to happen is that you need to create a representation of that token on another chain. So like, you know, say for example, you have um, some token, uh, token XYZ that's on Ethereum and you want to, you know, you bridge it to Arbitrum, uh, through the Arbitrum bridge, what's happening is that XYZ gets locked into the Arbitrum bridge and then the Arbitrum bridge, uh, this is just like their normal roll-up bridge, mints Arbitrum XYZ on Arbitrum. Um, now we consider this to be like a safe path to do, uh, you know, to, a safe thing to do because the Arbitrum bridge already is like the, you know, underpins the security of the whole Arbitrum ecosystem. Um, and so when you get, you know, Arbitrum bridge minted XYZ on Arbitrum, um, you, you like most people consider that to be what we call the canonical asset, uh, the canonical XYZ, which means it's the one that everybody kind of collectively agrees is the right version of XYZ. 